self-determination is a quest for the people to cast away colonial rule and to become independent within oneself or community. We will examine this through an event such as Discovery Day. For many years, Discovery Day was celebrated honoring Magellan and his landing on Guam. However, if the Chamorro people are to become self-determined, they must not focus on colonial rule but on becoming reliant on oneself. Therefore, the late 20th century Discovery Day was celebrated through reading Harau's infamous speech which is meant to bring the Chamorro people back to its roots and cast away the colonialization. Discovery Day is a holiday on Guam which celebrates the discovery of the island in 1521 by European explorer Ferdinand Magellan. It is celebrated each year on the first Monday of March since the year 1970. On this holiday, the people of Guam come together in celebration to commemorate the island's discovery. Some traditions include parties, parades, public entertainment, and also the traditional reenactment of Magellan's Landing, which is held at Umatic Bay. However, it was later replaced with the reenactment of Harau's speech. When Discovery Day first began, Magellan was honored for the discovery of the island of Guam. However, towards the 1980s, it was revered as a joke and was performed annually as a mockery of Spanish colonization. <laughs> According to an article in the Guam PDN, the reenactment consisted of Magellan walking onto the shore and popping open a cold beer. In interviewing local Chamorro David P. Leon Guerrero about Discovery Day and the reenactments, he states that the last reenactment he witnessed was a long time ago. But one thing he does remember is that it downplayed the cruelty of Magellan and his soldiers. This mockery was later cancelled and was replaced with the annual repetition of Chief Harau's speech, which is more symbolic of an attempt towards self-determination. Menmolegnya Todo it ninasinya niha mana hongi mana hujung para ufa babe he todo itinengo niha para una fam piniti he zengen man batset dan man yangga he the enno malagonia para ta hongi mana guini he sa siha te edza ke mambaba na dibuzi niha siha za sumala sa to sa tapolu tapolu ha para un fanagui fanaga guini who is harau to the people of guam and how has his speech inspired you to feel self determined according to jen leon guerrero harau was one of the chiefs who fought to make our island free and to chase off the foreigners who were powering us his speech was about getting the foreigners out of our island so we can be free. It inspires me because it shows that the Chamorro people are strong. According to Mr. Leon Guerrero, Harau is one of many underplayed Megalahis in Chamorro history. When the younger kids think about Harau, all they know is that he made a speech. That's all because of Spanish colonization and because our history was written by outsiders and is being taught to our children. Harau was the original leader of Guam's quest to self-determination. His actions and his historical speech to this day speaks to the Chamorro people about leading ourselves and progressing our island towards self-determination. As seen through eliminating Magellan's role in Discovery Day and replacing it with Harau's speech, one can see Guam is on the road to self-determination. However, not everyone feels it is possible to be self-reliant. As quoted by Mr. Leon Guerrero, Hirao's speech in today's world is just a dream. We, Guam, will never be able to achieve such a thing. We are too dependent on the United States to ever lead our own people 
or create our own destiny. Many people on Guam would like to be a self-determined entity and to not rely on others. However, at the current time, we are heavily reliant on the United States. If we want to move forward towards becoming self-determined, we must first come up with a plan to reach self-government, whether it be statehood, independence, or a commonwealth. We must do this in order for us to become self-reliant, self-sufficient, and to finally reach our goal in the island's quest towards self-determination. Drifting 